military. They said upwards of 20% are now in hardcore criminal gangs. Crips, Bloods, Mexican Mafia, uh, different Aryan groups. I mean, it's just things are reverting back to kind of a road warrior scenario. This is what happens with dumbed down populations. You don't associate with a gang of liberty and freedom and due process and being honorable. That's the real gang is having a good family name and people know they can do business with you. No, men are reverting to like a mindless sports culture. That's all they care about. All they care about is, you know, I'm not knocking sports, but it's become gladiatorial like Rome. And we are a degenerating society. So that's why we're watching Ferguson very, very closely. Uh, it's a powder keg. Coming up, the latest on Obamacare. And I want to open the phones up. I'll give the number out in the next segment. Here comes Gruber tape number five. The uh, Obamacare architect saying basically what Zuckerberg said of Facebook. Americans are dumb effers. They're dumb. We deceive them. Ha, ha, ha. We rip them off. More tapes on that. There's so much coming up. And Bill Cosby. I'll tell you what I think about that. Stay with us. Centralize it so that big insurance companies could force you to buy insurance and then give you low-quality coverage and could jack up prices and get past old state laws that didn't let them basically gouge people. That's why the Republican leadership, Boehner and McConnell, have said they can't repeal it or they don't want to repeal it or they can't repeal the whole thing. Here comes Gruber tape number five. Was this written by my adolescent children by any chance as he makes fun of a crowd? Melissa Francis said that when she worked at CNBC, they stopped me from telling the truth about Obamacare. I was silenced and told not to warn people on the financial channel. Here's another headline out of CBS News. Children will be fined, close quote, if you fail to sign up for Obamacare, people are going to be in for a shock. Oh, yeah. It'll be thousands per person. 5,000 per person. And it doesn't matter if you, if you even have insurance, like my parents have on Blue Cross Blue Shield. They've already had their prices doubled last year. They just got a letter that because Blue Cross, because they haven't had claims basically ever, because of that, uh, they're going to be fined on top of having their insurance because it's too low, even though it just doubled. So I hope everyone enjoys that. CBS News reports the penalty is meant to incentivize people to get coverage, said senior analyst Laura Adams of insurancequotes.com. This year, I think a lot of people are going to be in for a shock. The financial penalty for skipping out on health coverage will be more than triple in 2015. Up to 2% of income, depending on which is higher. Children will be fined at half the current rate. Isn't that nice? Children will be fined. And you can't keep your doctor. In, I mean, just a total screw job. And they admit it's a new tax, but the money goes to corporations. That's what the big banking regulation changes have been, is to shut down small banks. The big boys are in control. Crony capitalism. Gruber has been Grubered again, saying stupid Americans falling off a building. That's the article out of World Net Daily where he says, yeah, when people discover it and he laughs, he says it'll be like falling off a building. We've got all five clips and we'll play those in the next segment. But I'm, I'm tempted not to play them. Everybody's already heard them a bunch. They're on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. You know what he said, kind of like... The one of the main architects, Ezekiel Emanuel, Dr. Ezekiel Emanuel, admitted, yeah, there's death panels. Yeah, we're going to ration care. And yeah, it's meant to ruin health care and force you into a single payer system, but still administered by private groups. So you just get a private government, not privatization, private institutions with government power gang raping you and your family. But here's a big question. They jumped the shark with the banker bailout, tens of trillions of dollars to foreign banks. They've done all this other stuff and gotten away with it. Have they gone too far? Because they will go too far. That's the nature of evil. They will go and go and go. They're not accountable. They're compartmentalized. So it's hard to finger one person that's behind it. That's why they get away with so much is because it is a bureaucracy, a corporate and governmental interface. But how much can they get away with? What is a bridge too far? Is there any end? Is there any bottom to the abuse? They now have drones flying around. That's being reported by mainstream news. I've got it here on the stack. Stealing your cell phone data for the NSA. 
Police departments under federal grants have put up fake cell towers everywhere, stealing your data illegally. All of it's a felony, but they do it. And sometimes they actually stop bad guys with it. But there, there's a reason we don't have this, because it's illegal, because Nazi Germany and Soviet Russia did it. But our founders made it illegal because they'd lived under it 230-something years ago. There's a reason we've been prosperous. We've never been perfectly free, but we tried to stay free. If you don't with, withdraw your support from tyranny, if you don't resist oppression, there is no bottom. The bad guys take over. There's no checks and balances. Everything goes to hell in a handbasket. Look at all the decadent signals we see. Look at the cycle we're in. We're in the bottom of a very, very decadent cycle. I want to pull out of this now before Katie bar the door. Here's the toll-free number I want to hear from you on Obamacare, on Gruber. How far will they go? Will the Republican leadership get away with not repealing Obamacare? I don't want to hear about repealing some of the provisions. I want it all gone. But are they counting on our stupidity? Are they counting on the fact that we're ignorant? I think the political realignment of two weeks ago says something different. Doesn't mean I think the Republicans will save us, but it shows the public's angry. The Democrats have had the biggest losses they've had since 1921. And in the states since pre-Civil War. So this is a big deal. The Republican leadership better know they're in trouble. But plus, are you going to let the globalists totally bankrupt and loot the country? Obama says he's about to sign executive orders for totally open borders and legalize anybody that can get here. And you have amnesty status to any kid in the world as a refugee, period, if they're poor, a reason to come here. That'll bankrupt us overnight. That's the plan. Bring us to our knees. Make us dependent on them. Cloward and Piven. Gun control. He says he's going to use the UN treaty to restrict guns in the new year. Treaty goes into effect that we haven't ratified. The 24th is a Christmas gift to us. Christmas Eve. I want to get your take on all this. First time callers. 877-789-ALEX. And again, you don't have to even be a first time, a long time. Haven't called in in six months, I want to hear from you. I want to give new folks a chance, or folks that haven't been able to get in in a while. 877-789-2539, 877-789-2539. And we will get you up and on the air. The, the Sunday number is a different number than the weekday, because we produce the whole show in-house here on Sundays. 877-789-2539. And we will get you up and on the air here today. You can also shoot Twitter questions, tweet at Real Alex Jones, uh, and uh, tell me uh, you know any questions or comments you've got. We'll try to read some of those out on air. That's Real Alex Jones uh, on Twitter as well. How much will you put up with is the question? Because the average person that had health coverage has seen it doubled. If you were poor under Medicaid or Medicare, depending on your age, you already got basically free health care. There's all these charity health care systems. Folks just don't know how to access them. We had the best health care in the world just 30 years ago. Government involvement with special interest and big HMOs and insurance companies looting things has now put us way down the line in health care. And, and now they're getting ready to wreck it. They don't want the average person to have it. They're getting ready to loot this as just another government tax. They always want more. But this time... They split the money with the federal government, some of the states get some of the money, and then the private corporations. And the average small local insurance company that does a good job and takes care of people, they're going to be shut down. And that's what this has all been done for. The big insurance company stock is up, the small insurance companies are shutting down. It's about monopolies. 877-789-ALEX. Look forward to taking your phone calls coming up. We've got the latest on ISIS, Bill Cosby. We'll also look at NRA, warns of Obama-fueled in run around Constitution on gun rights. It's all coming up in the latest on Ebola as well. Stay with us. InfoWarsLife.com. Check it out today. I have set out to bring you the most hardcore, cutting-edge supplements and nutraceuticals, bar none. And that's what you'll find at InfoWarsLife.com. We have rejected, literally, hundreds of products from the InfoWars Life line because they are not of the very highest quality, or because they're not 100% organic, or because they don't pass all of the strictest toxicology tests there are that we have listed at InfoWarsLife.com. Whether it's Survival Shield Nascent Iodine or DNA Force, Supermel 
male vitality, super female vitality, lung cleanse, fluoride shield, oxy powder. I believe that all of these products will blow you away like they've done the thousands of other customers that have visited InfoWarsLife.com and believed in us and tried the